Hey, what's up guys? So I pretty much just woke up and I was scrolling on my phone as per usual and I came across this TikTok of this girl giving herself half faux freckles with henna and then half faux freckles with like a spray tan and she like dotted them all over her face. So it's just like temporary freckles but like they last for like a few weeks and I was like, <laughs> I'm doing that. So right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I have to leave for work at 3.30. So basically from now until three, I'm just gonna let these freckles sit on my face and then I'm gonna take a shower Hour and we're just gonna hope for the best. So if you want to see me potentially ruin my face with spray tan freckles, then keep watching. Um, okay, so I have all of my supplies. I have my Bondi Sands tanning foam that I used to give my body like a tan. So I figured like this would probably be the best to do for freckles. And it doesn't make you look orange. It has like an olive undertone. So I feel like this is my safest best bet. I have this really tiny liner brush. I also have a toothpick because I'm gonna try to make different like size freckles. And like, I'm gonna try to make some of them darker and some of them lighter so they look like as natural as possible, if that's possible at all. Like I said, I saw one TikTok on this and I didn't watch any other videos because I'm impatient and I'm gonna do it either way so I might as well just do it. So I guess let's just get right into it. I have my little tanning mitt that I use so I'm just gonna spray a little bit. So I think I'm gonna start off with the brush and I think I'm gonna make most of the freckles like in this area. All of the foam already dissolved. I feel like they're coming out very light which probably isn't that bad. If it ends up looking terrible at least they'll be like not as noticeable, but like I do kind of want it to be noticeable. Oh, that one's dark. Okay, I feel like this is kind of cute. Oh my God, I hope it turns out good. I think I saw people squirting it into the cap, so I guess it doesn't dissolve all the way. So I think I'm gonna try that. All right, I'm gonna try the toothpick now to get some more like really tiny, precise freckles. Okay, I feel like the toothpick is not working. Oh, that one was dark. Okay, putting it in here with the brush is a better idea. They come out so much darker. Does that look natural? I don't know. Oh my God. I feel like I don't, maybe just because I don't have freckles, I feel like it, I just look different or does it look crazy? It's definitely way more concentrated, like the color when you put it in the cap. Like, I don't know when to stop. I'm honestly like kind of having fun and I don't want to stop, but I feel like maybe I should stop. Like, I feel like this is a good amount for me. Okay, so I feel like I did it to a point where it looks natural. I'm nervous. I feel like I would definitely do it the way that I did it first, like spray it onto a paper plate or something or like the mitt, like and absorb some of the product and then put it on your face and then put it in the cap so it's more concentrated. So you get a different amount of like light and dark freckles because freckles and like beauty marks and stuff like that, they're never the same size or the exact same color. So trying to make this look as natural as possible, if that's even possible at all. So basically I'm just gonna leave this on my face for a few hours and then take a shower and then I will show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know, I feel like right now it looks kind of cute. So if they look like this after I wash my face, I don't think I'll be mad about it. Why do I like think it's a good idea to film when I look like this? Okay, I will see you guys after I take a shower. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm just doing a little check-in. The freckles are looking really good and really cute. My mom said that she liked them and that they looked really natural. So it's been like two hours. And the thing with this self-tanner is it develops over time. Like even after you wash it off, it's still not fully developed. So after I wash it, probably the next day, they'll be like the darkest. So we'll see. So I just showered and um there's nothing there <laughs> so yeah this is not the outcome that i wanted so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna redo them again now and then leave them on overnight because literally like maybe like you of them like showed up i mean i do have some like beauty marks and like freckles on my face but like literally nothing happened so i'm gonna redo the whole thing i'm literally gonna leave it on overnight and then i will check in tomorrow to see if like anything different happened or if this just like does not work tomorrow so the lighting's terrible right now um i literally just woke up and i'm getting coffee and i'm gonna talk to you guys about my faux freckle situation or actually lack thereof but first i'm gonna order my coffee so here's the thing um it didn't freaking work I don't know what I did wrong. There's very, very faint, like, little, like, dots, but, like, nothing that screams, like, oh, like, freckles. I don't know if maybe I should have done, like, henna or if I should have put more or left it on longer. Like, I legit, like, left it on overnight, and then I just washed my face, like, in the morning. And, like, I wasn't scrubbing it. Like, I didn't even put, like, soap on my face. I just washed it with water. I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I'm ugly right now. If you have any suggestions, if you've ever done this before, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to make a 
another video trying this again so it hopefully actually works. It looked cute when I had like the fake tanner on my face with the freckles. Like I liked how it looked and my boyfriend likes how I look with freckles. So I thought it would be like fun to have freckles for like a week or two. I'm really sorry that this video was a flop. Right now I have a million coupons for Dunkin'. I don't usually drink Dunkin', but like a $2 cold brew, like a broke girl cannot beat that. Usually where my boyfriend lives, they only have paper straws and they have a plastic straw. So don't come for me. I know I do my best. Hope that you guys have a good weekend. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I have more videos coming. Like I said, let me know if you want me to retry this and see if it actually works. Leave me suggestions if you've ever done it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.